In this video, I'm going to detail the process of getting a low poly ready. So what that's going to entail is navigating the wrist workshop. We're going to find an object that we want to use and we're going to download that. And then from there, we're going to bring that into Blender. And we're going to fix the UV map and then fix the orientation as well. So as you can see, we're just opening our game and then we're going to navigate to the workshop tab. And when that's open, we're going to click create a new item. And then from there, we can select whatever item we want to use. So I'm going to pick the Thompson. So once we've got our item open, we're going to go to the edit tab. I'm going to click the small orange arrow and we're going to select where we want to download the object. Now you want to open your free software. I'm going to be using Blender, but you can use whatever software you're comfortable with, like a 3ds Max. We're going to start off by deleting the default cube as per every other Blender tutorial in existence. And then we're going to go to File, Import, and then we're going to find the object we just downloaded. So once that's imported, it will probably be in a random position in the 3D space. So, I mean, it's just preference, but I just like to position that at the origin. That just makes it easier to work on. So once we've got our object in a position we like in the 3D space, we're going to select it and then we're going to go to the UV editing tab. And what that's basically going to show us is the UV map that the game has supplied for that object. And um, quite a lot of the time these UV maps aren't ready for creating our hyperplane and then baking. They need to be fixed, so that's basically what I'm going to try to explain now. You probably can do this with the default vanilla blender, but it's going to be a lot more difficult than uh, with some add-ons. So this add-on I'm using here is called UV Pack Master, and that enables me to check if any UV islands are overlapping each other fairly quickly. What I'm doing here is I'm selecting all of the islands in the UV map by pressing Control A. That selects everything, and then I'm going to my UV Pack Master free, and I'm clicking the overlap check. And that's basically highlighting all the islands in orange that are overlapping. And to get a correct or good bake, we need to remove all of these overlapping islands. So in some cases, it's the game using the textures from one part of the weapon onto another part of the weapon to maximize their textile density. And then in other cases, it's just a bad UV island that's maybe overlapping for some reason. I mean, both cases we need to fix really. So as you can see here, we've got um, two UV islands uh, encompassed in a bigger UV island. So these are basically the iron sight uh, islands that are used for the Thompson. And they're placed onto the top of the gun as well. So it's a general rule of thumb, but if it's a smaller island that's being placed on top of a bigger island, you probably want to be deleting the smaller island. So before we start editing the UV map, we want to make sure that the two arrows on the top left of the UV editing uh, viewport are selected. That should be highlighted blue. And then we're going to want to navigate to whatever islands are overlapping. And we're going to press L while hovering over them. And that will select the whole island. Once we've done that, we want to go to the 3D viewport. We want to press X, which is delete. And then we're going to delete the vertices. So that will delete the object from the 3D model and also from the UV map. What I'm looking at here is a bolt on the iron sight. So as you can see, this circular UV island is overlapping one of the other bigger islands. So, I mean, this is basically just an error in the UV map. It shouldn't be like this and it shouldn't be set up like this in the game, but it's something we have to deal with and we have to get around. So in reality, we probably could leave these small overlapping parts as they are and it won't cause too many errors, but we can also fix them. It's probably a better practice, practice to do that. So I'm going to select the island and because these are overlapped, I'm deleting the top island. And then I'm selecting the individual faces of the island that are overlapping onto the bigger island and I'm deleting them. Um, yeah, like I said, this isn't perfect, but it shouldn't affect our skin too much. So once again, we've got this bolt that's overlapping some other islands. And it's also uh, laying outside of the UV tile. So. If you import this into Substance Painter or another 3D software, it might actually cause an error, so 
we want to be moving any of the vertices that are outside of the UV tile, inside of the UV tile. So in this case, I'm just scaling the island. I mean, you want to make sure it's pretty much in exactly the same position as the original, um, but uh, this this should work, yeah. Sometimes you'll get errors like these where UV Packmaster still only does an overlap and island, but when you look at it more closely, it's, um, you know, that doesn't seem to be a problem. And most of the time, this is fine. It's just um, that the islands aren't joined together. There's like a very small overlap, but that's fine. We can ignore that. So here you can see another example of add UV supplied by the game. Um, the small base should not be overlapping the bigger island. So we're going to move it to probably how it should have been <laughs> intended by the game. Um, yeah, this isn't going to change the UV map, but. It's, it's not going to hurt us and it's probably going to give a better baking result. I'm just going to keep repeating this process of selecting all the islands, overlap check, and then checking what sort of error it's given us, whether it's a overlapping island or like a small error. And then, yeah, we're just going to do that for the whole EV map. Thank you. 
at this point we've been through the whole UV map. I'm pretty happy that there's no overlapping islands and that all duplicated islands um, have been fixed and removed from the model. And then at this point we're gonna just fix the orientation of the model. I'm using another add-on to do this, which is called Hard Ups. Uh, you can also do it in Vanilla Blender, but this is a lot easier. So I'm selecting the object, um, applying all transforms, setting the origin to the object, and I'm pressing Alt X. I'm changing the flip method to uh, flip. And we're going to press apply. Depending on the object, uh, it'll need to be flipped in different axes or maybe even multiple axes. To find the correct orientation, you want to look at the game. And you're going to want to line up how your object looks in your 3D viewport to how the game looks. This is really important. Hopefully, you found this helpful. I'm going to leave my Discord in the description. Uh, it's basically a Discord based around risk and creation, so you can ask any questions you need to in there, and um, someone will probably help.